In the last presentation, we have seen about group by clause and having clause. In this presentation, we will see order by clause or order by keyword in SQL. Let's start with the basics. At first, we must understand why do we need order by in SQL. Basically, the order by is used to sort the result set. Say for example, when we want to retrieve the records from the table, we will be obviously going for select. Now, when we retrieve the data using select clause, the data will be printed as per the data available in the table. I mean, the result of the select will be as per the data actually present in the table. Now, if we want to order, say for example, if we want to sort the result, in that case, we can go for order by. So, in simple terms, if we want to sort the result, then we can go for order by clause in SQL. When we talk about sorting, we have only two ways to sort. The result can be sorted in two different ways in ascending order or in the descending order. So it's clear that the result if we want to perform in a sorted way, it can be in ascending order or it can be in the descending order. If we have not providing which order we need, ascending or descending, what's the default one? So the default one is ascending order. When we have not specified which order we want, then the default order will be ascending. Let's see the syntax now. The syntax goes like this. Select column 1, column 2, up to column n from table name. This is the general select query. Select column names from table. Now what we are doing? Order space by. So order by column 1, column 2, up to column n. We need to specify the keyword. Which order we want. ASC for ascending. DESC for descending. Suppose if we want the output in the ascending order, use this keyword. If we want the output in the descending order, use this keyword. Let's see an example. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the columns from this table employee order by which column I'm using. Salary column and what sorting order I need. Ascending order. So I'm using ASC. So what will be the output of this query? We are going to select all the columns and the result is going to be sorted as per the salary in the increasing order or in the ascending order. So this is just an example. No worries. We will see the actual example now. I'm bringing in the same example what we have taken, the same employee table which we have been dealing in the last few presentations. Now the SQL query is select star from employee order by salary ascending, AASC for ascending. So what will be the output? I request you to pause this video for a while and think about the result. Remember how many columns we are retrieving? All columns. So the output is going to be all columns. But in what way we are going to retrieve the columns? As per the salary in the increasing order or in the ascending order. Can you see here the salary? The minimum value is 25,000, then 35,000, then 45, 50, 60, 62 and 68,000. So the result is actually sorted in the ascending order as per which column? Salary column. So this is the column. And that's why we got the output like this. This 25,000 is the actual lowest value in this table. And this will be in the first of our result set because that's the minimal value we have. We know how to sort the result set in ascending order and how to sort the result set in descending order. It's simple, the same approach what we followed except the change in the keyword. So let's say we have seen select star from employee order by salary. Here in order to get the result in the decreasing order or in the descending order, we are required to use DESC, descending. Let's see the example now. Let's bring in the same employee table. Now what we are going to do? We are going to supply the query so that the result what we are going to get is in the descending order of the salary. So the query is select star from employee order by salary descending. This is the keyword. Now what will be the output for this? The output for this is going to be in the descending order of the salary. The highest value in the salary column is 68,000. So the result set will be containing 68,000, the row which contains 68,000 in the first place, followed by the second highest salary. Then the list continues and will be having the minimum value or the lowest salary in the last row. I hope things are clear to you. Before we sign out, let's see the homework question. The question is, let's take the same employee table. In the previous homework problems, I have given you the question to write the SQL query. Here, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to give you the SQL query and I want you to try applying this SQL query and know the result set. The query is select star from employee order by name comma salary. 
In the examples what we have seen, we have taken only one column to order. But here I have mentioned two columns, name and salary. Also, I have not specified which order I want the result. Just think what is the default one and try this problem. And that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this presentation and thank you for watching.